Hi, it's me Esma and welcome back to another video. Before I begin, I'm just gonna mention I literally cannot sleep. It is about like 6 a.m. I literally look like a freaking mess. Like I literally just grabbed a random shirt, put it on, and y'all know what's up. I got the most brilliant idea to tell you guys the story of how my brother and I's relationship got literally strengthened because we literally almost died. If he sees this video, he may be like, it's probably true, it's probably true because when I tell you we almost fucking died, we almost fucking died. This happened way back in like, I believe 2017 if I'm not mistaken. The plan was that my brother and I were going to go visit my father in the United States. And so of course, you know, us living in Puerto Rico, we have to take a plane over there. And out of everything, it was the first time that we ever got inside of an airplane. It was literally like the first time that we ever, I think probably were like inside of an airport, like to actually fly somewhere else. You know what I mean? Like, trust me when I tell you, we had no clue of what was going to happen in the fucking airplane. That being said, you know, we got ready, we got our shit together, you know what I mean? And uh, it was really fun, like the whole experience, the whole like getting the ticket out of the machine or whatever, and like the whole, oh, we got inside of the plane, it was really fun, you know, it was really comfortable, you know? I think I got the seat that was like next to the um, window, I don't even remember. Actually thinking about it now, I did not. I actually got the seat that was next to the window on our way back to Puerto Rico. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, uh, my brother and I, literally, well, us and literally like everybody inside of the plane almost died because of turbulence. And I hope you guys realize that it was like literally the first time that we had ever been in an airplane and my brother was literally knocked the fuck out. He was in his probably like in his third phase of like freaking sleep. Like he was really deep in there. Like when we were flying, I felt like the it's like a thing you know that you feel like on like right here you know what I mean? like it's, i don't even know how to explain it it's just like a thing like uh so i felt that my brother was like knocked out asleep and so what do we, <laughs> we were like we're like going up i think i don't know what happened but like immediately we felt like turbulence and it was like really really bad and so i remember <laughs> <laughs> it was so mind you my brother and i we love each other we really do we fight a lot like we argue and we have actually we haven't like physically fought in like a long time now okay absolutely oh man i'm trying to you know bring that upon us but like when we when we argue slash fight we argue slash fight you know what i mean <laughs> trust me when i tell you my brother was snuck the fuck out and I was like freaking out. I had no choice because I, I didn't want to die literally being next to a freaking random lady. No offense, you were really nice, but like, you know, it's like my brother, you know? So I was like, Epi, Jeffy, And he was like, he was asleep, mind you. And he woke up, he was like, ¿Qué? What's happening? ¿Qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? And I'm like, I thought it knew, I thought that was it for us. Like I was like, you know what? what no matter anything that had happened in the past, bitch, I motherfucking love you. Like I, I want you to know. Like he was a fucking afraid. <laughs> I was like, I was like, bro, we're gonna die. Archangel Michael, like what's up? Like come through. Like I don't wanna die. We don't free no die. Like, you know, protect us, help us, lift the plane. <laughs> It was a safe travel or whatever. And like, yo, literally, like, from that moment on, I feel like our relationship, but like, it just fucking flourished. Like, it, it, like, there's nothing that strengthens your relationship with someone, literally, than being at the, at the phase of practically death. 
Like when I tell you he freaked out cause he was literally asleep and like I woke him up to literally witness fucking death. <laughs> like when I tell you his face like, oh my God, I don't even know. I mean, I guess a part of me woke him up and because I didn't want to die alone. And of course he was next with me, but like I, I needed him to like, bro, I'm so sorry. I just, I, I guess I didn't want to die alone. And I was like, bro, be away with me. Like, I want to, I don't know. Like, I, I guess, in, like, a part of me also wanted to, like, <laughs> like, be like, yo, baby, I'm sorry. Like, I love you. Actually, I did. I do think I was like, man, I, I love you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, and we were like, <laughs> like, I'm sure you thinking about it. That was really funny. Like, thinking about it, it really is funny, but like, in the moment when I tell you, like, it was really freaking scary, legitimately thought we was gonna die. Like, not even I, like, I could fucking die. I would give my life, like, bro, my life, I would give it to you, but like, bro, like, it, it wasn't even a matter of me giving you my life, it was a matter of, like, we was both gonna die. <laughs> You know, needless to say, like, I'm alive, and so therefore nothing bad happened, thankfully. Like, our trip to the United States was literally a fucking freak out. Like, it was wild, but on our way back, it was literally so smooth and, ah, uh, like, no turbulence whatsoever. But yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I think we flew with American Airlines. Don't remember quite well. But overall, like, even though we were almost about to die, the experience was really kind of cool. Like, it was kind of like one of those things where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Like, oh, it's like, a susto que dan gusto. It's like fear or like the fright that gives you pleasure. I don't even know how to properly translate the saying in English, but it's literally like that. It's like, oh fuck, I'm gonna die. It's the big fear of like, what's gonna happen next? But then like, whoo. <laughs> oh lord oh we, we good you know but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed the story of how my brother and i almost died and how our relationship pretty much got strengthened by the face of death and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did be sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys later i'm gonna show you how to treat me like a queen yeah.